we were friends and we would exchange ideas and stuff. I mean, when I was doing a scene, he'd come in and, and you know, talk about things and maybe shaping it a little differently. And when he was working on something, he, I would go to the studio very often when he was doing a live television, uh, and uh, watch the the tech or the run through in the dress rehearsal. And then we, he would get notes from the director, and then he talked to me. He was working on this uh, episode of uh, a craft, uh, which written by Rod Serling, interestingly, uh, long before uh, the Twilight Zone and Night Gallery. Rod was one of the prolific writers of, of the live TV period, along with Patty Shevsky and several others. We went to Jerry's, uh, a restaurant, bar, grill on 54th Street and 6th Avenue which was just down from the NBC building, at that time the RCA building, uh, GE today. Uh, and Jim was depressed and unhappy with how things were going with, on that show. He hadn't found a hook and he was at sea and, and we were talking and and he ordered a, a, a double or a triple scotch, which is very unlike him before a television show, a live television show. And I was like, wow, you know, uh, that, that's not smart. And, and then he said, you know, what if I just take off? And I said, what do you mean? He said, leave and just give it all up. I said, what are you talking about? You know, I was like, he said, I'm awful in this. And I said, what do you mean, just leave, <laughs> quit, and uh, disappear? He said, yeah. I said, that, that, that's insane. I said, and as he was talking and saying these things and drinking scotches, he put his collar in his mouth and, and was chewing on it, which he did from time to time. And. The character he was playing was a, a guy who regressed at certain times and became violent. And it was coming out of nowhere. But while he was talking, you know, Jim's mother died when he was a very young man and he was very shaken by it. She was somebody who was there for him. His father never was. and. I said, looking at him, I said, that's it. And he said, what? I said, that's your mother. And I, I, I used the word. I said, that's your mother's tit. And he just sat there for a second. Now, it was like five minutes to nine, and he had three blocks to run and an elevator to go up to the eighth floor of NBC and he said see ya and sh shot out the door there were two doors at Jerry's one on the, uh, 54th Street and one on 6th Avenue and before I knew it the logo craft logo and the theme song came up and there was Jimmy on camera and, and that moment, well, it, it paid off enormously. And, and I heard later that George Stevens saw that episode on television and had him in mind for Jet Rink from that day on. Now that's prior to East of Eden and Rebel Without a Cause. So, I mean, Jim was not a, a, a household name at that point, if you know what I mean.